Hi y'all, GreenK2000 here. It's been a while since I uploaded an MMD tutorial, but I figured that I'd continue to share whatever knowledge I have in case someone still wants to use it in the future. At this point, it's just an ancient tool and you'd be lucky to find popular MMD creators nowadays. However, I do believe that's a pretty cool software that you can use once you get the hang of it. There's so many sweet creations already out there, so my job here is to get your foot in the door and teach you what I know. In the last tutorial, we went over how to import your models into Miku Miku Dance. Now, it's time to learn how to pose this model. First and foremost, go ahead and load your model. For this tutorial, I will be using this model of Len Kagaman, and I'll link that in the comment section. So, let's take a look at what we have here. I recommend using a mouse to navigate the interface. With it, if you use scroll, you can zoom in and zoom out. If you click and hold on the scroll button, you can just pan the camera from side to side. And if you right click and hold, you can rotate the camera. All this makes it easier to move around the UI. Now let's get to posing. Try selecting a couple of bones. You'll notice that some of them come with English names, but for the ones that are Japanese translated, they may come up as null, which is okay for now, but if it makes it too difficult for you, you can edit the names of the bones in PMX Editor, which we'll go over more in detail in another video. Let me show you two of the most important bones. First, this is the master bone. With it, you can move the whole model whichever way you want. The second most important bone is the center bone right here. Try moving it and you'll see that the model is not able to bend. Notice how the feet stay planted for the most part. This is because the feet are IK bones, aka bones that won't be affected drastically by the center bone. Another feature of this IK bone is that you're able to move it how you like. Any bone that looks like a box is a bone that you can manipulate by moving. See if I select this elbow bone, which is a circle, the option for moving it disappears, but what you can do is rotate it. To rotate a bone, select the rotate button, and this little wheel will show up. If I click and drag the green part, Len's elbow will rotate like a clock. Remember though that we're dealing with a 3D model, so we're able to rotate on the X, Y, and Z axis. That's where all the other options come in. This blue part will rotate the elbow on the z-axis. And the red part will rotate Len's arm on the x-axis. With this logic, we can do the same thing on all the other bones. For instance, we can turn Len's neck side to side like this. But say we have a position that we like and we accidentally move to the next frame. What happens here is the whole thing resets and you lose all your hard work. This is why we have to register our poses every time. Doing so will save the position. So let's press undo, which will give us our last state. Then we go to the bone we manipulated and click on register. Now, if I go to a different frame, the pose doesn't reset itself. Now that we understand the basics, let's create a more advanced pose. We'll make Len do an energetic peace signs pose. I'm just going to reset my pose to default, and let's start by making him bend his knees. Next, I'm going to shift into the side some. I'm going to move the right leg IK bone here, then move the left leg IK bone out. Now I rotate the right leg some more. Then I'll rotate the feet properly. Next I'll rotate the upper body some. I'll also slightly rotate the lower body. Let's rotate the right elbow again. Okay, so right here I want to create a fist. Now I can manipulate each finger bone to create the fist, but I'd rather use a shortcut. Your MMD package should come with the poses folder. In there you can find a VPD pose that will create a bottom fist. That just made our job so much easier. We're almost done here. 
I'm gonna rotate Lone's left arm this way, then bring his elbow up. Then I'm gonna import that fist pose, but for the other hand. And remember that I'm making a peace sign, so I'm gonna go ahead and create that by resetting the index and middle fingers. And there you have it, we've created our first pose. Not too bad, right? Even though this wasn't that hard, it can get time consuming to get the pose the way that you want. Now imagine when you had to animate this frame by frame, doing hundreds of different poses to create the animation. It'll definitely make you respect the 3D animators a lot more for sure. And though we're pretty much done here, I can't help but notice how blank Lens face is. How can we make him look a little happier? Well, in this green tab, we have the facial manipulation. Most models come with a set of facial morphs. Use the slide to determine how intense you want the morph to look. Here, I'll make Len wink. Next, I'll have his mouth open and smiling. Keep in mind you can also mix and match morphs in the same section, so I'll do that to make Len smile a little bigger. Let's also give him more cheerful eyebrows. And lastly, let's see if there are any miscellaneous morphs I want to give Len. There's a ton here. So let me use this one that gets rid of the highlights. Bam, all done. Let's do a quick 360 to see how it looks. Remember, you can do this by right clicking on the mouse. Honestly, it's perfect. I don't think I have to do any more edge to it. But that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was pretty helpful for you guys. Until then, be cool, be wild, and be groovy.